Treasury, the United States Department of State, along with Treasury, Commerce, and DHS, are issuing a business advisory to companies with supply chain links to entities complicit in forced labor and other human rights abuses in Xinjiang and throughout China. CEOs should read this notice closely and be aware of the reputational, economic, and legal risks of supporting such assaults on human dignity. I want to call attention to recent credible and deeply disturbing new reports that the Chinese Communist Party is imposing forced sterilization and abortions on Uyghurs and other minorities in Western China. This shocking news is, sadly, consistent with the CCP's decades-long callous disregard for the sanctity of human life. I call on all nations, women's advocates, religious groups, and human rights organizations to stand up for the Chinese people's basic human dignity. Look, the Chinese Communist Party's brutality affects the rest of the world, too. We welcome India's ban on certain mobile apps that can serve as an appendages of the CCP's surveillance state. India's clean app approach will boost India's sovereignty. It will also boost India's integrity and national security, as the Indian government itself has stated.